you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I'm going to share with you Brielle my 10 year olds uh, homeschool routine this video you guys is in a collaboration with two of my really close friends Lauren from the practical homeschooler and Gina from Gina be homeschool we have came together to show you guys our um, kids routines now we all have different kids of different ages I'm not too sure which daughter Lauren is going to show in her video and I believe Gina is going to show her son Nicholas who is in the second grade she's going to show his routine so you guys are going to be able to get a good glimpse of all of our kids homeschool routines and I'm really excited to be making this video with them today so you guys I really hope you guys enjoy seeing um, what we do on a daily basis and just kind of seeing how different everyone's homeschool is so Gina Lauren thank you for making this video with me I'm so happy that we have partnered together once again okay you guys Bree just finished her fax practice she did really really good she timed four minutes and 36 seconds and yeah, so today in Saxon, she has her test. You're doing test number three. Are you ready, Bree? Mm -hmm. You are? Okay, so I have her um, test solution sheet right here where she's going to uh, fill out her test. So I'm gonna give Bree some space and I'm gonna let her finish her test. But good job on your facts practice, Bree. Thank you. Okay, Brie, before you get started on your math test, can you tell me how you're enjoying the cold math lady? I like it. The videos are really cool. You like the videos? Mm-hmm. Yeah, is, doesn't the cold math lady teach better than mommy? Mm, yeah, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Okay, go ahead, Brie, you can finish your test. Okay, you guys, Brielle, she is finished with her math test and she is downstairs. Brie has been really helping me with breakfast. She's been really enjoying like uh, being in the kitchen a lot more. Uh, we're downstairs, the girls are down here, my little ones. <laughs> there goes one right here, Alana, and then Leia, she's right there. So it's a lot more chaotic now because my husband, he is at work. So we're gonna get started with breakfast and then um, Bible, so yeah. Okay, Brie, what's for breakfast today? Uh, got sausage. You made us sausages, and what else we're we gonna have? And, and some waffles. <laughs> okay, so sorry for the noise, you guys. So we're gonna have sausage. Brielle's gonna make eggs, and then she's also gonna make some. Uh, <laughs> she's also gonna make some waffles. So uh, good breakfast, good breakfast, Brie. breakfast I just wanted to show you what we're going to be doing for Bible we're going to be going over the fruits of the spirit we're going to be going over 1st Corinthians 13 verse 4 through 8 Psalms 23 the Lord's Prayer and we've also been memorizing the books of the Bible this I guess is my little <laughs> fake morning menu um, we're going to be going over the character of goodness. We're going to be reading from our African American poetry book. And then her devotion today is How God Grows a Courageous Girl. Oh, Brie, your breakfast looks good. I have sausages, eggs, and waffles. It looks good. Look, the girls are already eating. Good job making breakfast, Brie. Okay, let's go ahead and get into Bible. Yeah, okay, 
Okay, let's go over the fruits of the spirit. Are you ready? Love, Love joy, peace, goodness, goodness kindness, faithfulness, <laughs> patience, gentleness, and self-control. Mommy! Mommy! I <laughs> Come here. Come here. Look, look, it's right there. See? Cheese. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. Genesis, Genesis Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second, Third John, Jude, Revelation. Okay, I'm gonna start my spelling. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Bri is starting spelling. She is doing 180 days of spelling and word study. So um, she is on. What day are we on now, Bri? We are on day three of week seven. Yeah. So we're on day three of week seven. So she's going to go ahead and get started with that right now. See? Yeah. <laughs> okay, tell them what you're going to be doing. Yeah. I'm going to be doing, so the directions are, so I'm going to be doing, yeah. I'm basically going to find a word in the word bank, and then I'm going to match it with the definition. Okay. You're, so you're finding yeah. a word in the word bank and matching it with the definition. Okay, mm -hmm. good job, Bruce. Yeah, go ahead, go play with your colors. This color! No, 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 play with those ones. No, 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 not these ones. Not those ones. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's chaotic. Yeah, choo-choo. Yes, choo choo. Freight train. Choo choo. A train runs across this track. Tell me, this is a. A red hook is at the back. Orange tank car next. And a yellow hopper car. Good job, green, blue, and purple. Okay, you guys, Brie is finished with her spelling. Today is Wednesday, so I have like speech therapy with um, Leia with my youngest daughter. Um, she didn't do too well in this session. She was kind of like goofing off and playing, but I mean, we do speech therapy virtually, so it's kind of crazy. So right now, Brie, she's over here. I don't know if you can see her, but uh, she's over here. We're having like snack time and break time in between um, spelling. And then we will get into our Rotten Staff English. We have about like an hour before lunchtime, so she'll do that. And then this afternoon, we get an opportunity to kind of like have fun with like our Black History Month. The girls, the younger ones, they're over here too. They're on their tablets, you guys. I just wanted to show that to you guys. I do have to use technology in order for me to get a lot of things done. I normally don't pull out the tablets until it's like right before lunchtime. I allow them to use them then and then they take their nap time and then I can kind of finish out the day. So if you have little ones and you do have to use technology or the TV, don't feel bad. It is what it is. You, we just have to get these things done. So um, they're going to finish up their snack and then we're going to finish off some English. Hey, you guys, I know this sounds really crazy, but today just happened to be a test day for us. So Brielle right now, she is about to do an English test. We actually just finished chapter five in our Rotten Staff uh, Building English Christian series. So here goes her test right here she's going to do. And I'm just gonna go back downstairs with the kids and I'm gonna let her go ahead and finish her test and see yeah. how much she has retained from um, chapter five that we just went over. So you're excited, Brie? Uh -huh. You're gonna do great. Yeah, I'm gonna get this for my um, diagram. Yes, and uh, Brie likes to use a ruler when she does her uh, sentence diagram, and she likes her diagrams to look really, really uh, neat. So. <laughs> down to take a nap and they're in there being crazy they're not quite sleep just yet 
But today, since Brielle had to take so many tests, I just decided to save it for the afternoon for me to grade them. So I need to grade her spelling, her math, and I need to also grade her English test that she just took. And if it's anything that she missed, we'll kind of like go over it and then we will head into like our black history. So I'm gonna go ahead and grade it. And hopefully by the time I grade it, the two younger ones, they will be asleep. So yeah. Okay, you guys, I also made a second cup of coffee. I normally don't make coffee um, in the afternoon. I'll drink like a chai tea latte, but I ran out. So I made me another cup of coffee. I'm gonna drink it so I can just kind of like have enough energy to get through our black history time because it's so special when me and Brie get an opportunity to have this time while the younger ones are asleep and do like our history. So uh, let me go ahead and get to this. I want you to go back right here, Brie, and come here, come look. Right here, you forgot to underline. What does it say for you to do? It wants you to underline your what? Your direct objects. Okay. Uh, so make sure you look through those and underline what the direct objects are, okay? Okay, you guys, Brie, she missed a few on her spelling. So she is using dictionary.com on my phone to figure out uh, which words go right here. And while she's doing that, I just wanted to show you guys her test. She told me it was okay for me to show you guys her test. So this is the test number three that she did right here with Saxon. She did really, really well with it. Here goes her test. So she got an A. She missed one question on it. And what I love about Saxon so much is that the question that she missed, it has the lesson number right here that I was able to go back to the lesson number and explain to her why she got the question wrong and just to make sure she understood it. And that's one thing I really love about Saxon math. Brie is doing Saxon 6-5 and right now we are going to be starting lesson number 21. So she's just trucking right along on this and she's doing really, really well. So um, we have really been enjoying Saxon. Um, she also had a fax practice that she did this morning like you guys seen and she did an awesome job on that as well. I really love these fax fluency sheets because I'm noticing she has been coming, uh, she's been getting really, really fast when it comes to math just by doing these um, drills. So yeah, so she did really, really good on her test and we can keep on going forward with this. For Rod and Staff, again, Brie did awesome on this test. She actually got, oh, that was her other test she did. Where's the one for today at? She's been doing really good on these tests. But today, she actually didn't miss any. She did really, really well diagramming her sentences and everything like that. So she did an awesome job. I have really been enjoying Rod and Staff. Rod and Staff is a lot different from uh, other English curriculums because it is a mastery approach where for each chapter, we are only going over one element. So we just completed chapter five, which was using verbs correctly. And then we're going to be heading in into chapter six, which is pronouns. And even though she's only going to be going over pronouns, just this one chapter, they do have like a little review and practice where they will mix in other concepts that we did go over already and just um, kind of like build them in the lesson as well. So we only have what one, two, three, four, five. We're stopping at chapter 10 at the end of the school year. We're not going to do chapter 11 because she's really, really good at capitalization and dictionary skills. So we're gonna end off on chapter 10 this school year. We do a chapter in about two weeks. So she's doing really, really well with this. So we're just taking our time with our um, English series. So okay, yeah, you guys, we are about to start Black History. Today, we are going to be talking about Dr. Wagnari Mathana. And it's really cool because we actually read a really cool uh, chapter book about her last year when we did our botany study. So it's kind of cool. We're going to re read about her again. Brie wants to make a cover page for all of her like Black History uh, pictures that she has. So when Black History Month is over, she'll have like a way to store all of her uh, and coloring. And behind it, it will have my paragraph or bibliography at the end. It sure will. So this right here is the template right here for her bibliography that she's going to write. I don't know if we're going to write the bibliography today or not, just because Brie has done a lot of tests today. I kind of just want to just let her color and read and we can just take our time tomorrow and do our bibliography on Dr. Uh, Wagnari Mathana. 
these are the books I'm going to read aloud to Brie while she's coloring. I'm going to read Gone Crazy in Alabama. We're going to read our ABCs of Black History. I affirm me. And then we're going to find all the information about Dr. Wagner in this book right here, Timelines for Black um, History. Okay, but this right here is the page we're going to be reading today about Dr. Wagner and Methana. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. And we're on letter L right here for I Affirm Me and the ABCs of Black History. We have only been reading one to two letters a day. So both of these books can last for the whole month. Um, so Bree's been really enjoying reading a few letters. So. L is for leader. I am a role model for others. I listen and learn. I have the confidence to stand up for myself because what I say matters. Oh, wow. So L is for love. L is for love. L is always for love. Okay, Bree. So, Dr. Wagnari Mathana, do you remember where she's from? Uh, Kenya. Good job. She's from Kenya. Wagnari Mathana, she was born in 1940 and she died in 2011, was founder of the Green Belt Movement, which was an organization that has arranged the planting of more than 51 million trees in Kenya. Our homeschool routine I know it was kind of crazy because you really didn't get a chance to see me like teach Brielle a lesson she had a lot of tests today and it's so crazy I don't even know how that happened but um, today we really uh, was able to sit together and work on our black history for black history month you guys Brielle has really been enjoying black history you can see her board back here it's definitely getting full and uh, we have definitely been enjoying learning about all of these uh, great black scientists, inventors, just people that have had a big impact in our uh, world. So I'm really, really excited that we have carved out that extra special time uh, in our homeschool to do that this month. So you guys, I really hope you enjoy seeing uh, Brielle's routine. Nothing's really uh, changed since the last day in life video. We are definitely still uh, in this, in the thick of this toddlerhood phase where I am <laughs> wrangling toddlers and trying to homeschool at the same time but we're definitely making it work i think the only few things that i didn't show you guys in today's video was brielle doing her piano practice uh, in the afternoon normally this time right now she is doing her um her story writing she does a little story writing she does like independent uh, play where she will like play and do things like that i really don't allow her to do like technology or anything like that until after four o'clock but other than that she has free range to do anything else that she wants to so you guys i hope you enjoy seeing uh, today's video our routine please don't forget to go ahead and check out lauren's and gina's uh, homeschool routines with their kiddos and you guys i look forward to seeing everybody in my next video bye